Welcome to Miss Pam Reads. Today we are reading Dinosaur Dinners by Lee Davis. Dinosaur Dinners written by Lee Davis. I am a dinosaur looking for my breakfast. I can see you wherever you are. A deadly dinosaur, Truden, was a quick and clever hunter. It had large eyes for spotting prey, even in dim light. Truodon. Ah, oh, see, it's going to help me with the pronunciation. Oh, good. Truodon. I am a dinosaur ready for my lunch. Herrerasaurus. I can catch you even if you run. A speedy sprinter, Herrerasaurus, ran fast on its two back legs. It hunted sm small reptiles such as lizards. Hmm. I am a dinosaur hungry for my dinner, and I am bigger than you are. Tyrannosaurus. A huge hunter, Tyrannosaurus was one of the biggest meat-eating dinosaurs ever. It was as tall as a two-story building. We all have sharp teeth and claws. We are meat eaters. We eat other dinosaurs. Hungry for meat? Meat-eating dinosaurs ate fish, insects, small mammals, reptiles, and other dinosaurs. They are called carnivores. Eat or be eaten? That is the dinosaur question. I can run fast enough to get away from big meat eaters. I can also run fast enough to catch small animals. Gallimaeus. Gallimaeus. A mixed diet. Gallimaeus snapped on leaves and small animals in its beak. It is called an omnivore because it ate both plants and meat. I like to eat lizards and other animals. I catch them in my strong claws and my long beak, but I eat plants too. I am not a picky eater. I am a dinosaur who eats nothing but plants. I stay close to my babies to protect them from meat eaters. Myasaura, Myasaura, eggs in a nest. Dinosaurs laid eggs in nests on the ground. Their babies hatched out of the eggs, just like baby birds and crocodiles. I made their nest from a mound of earth. I bring leaves and berries for them to eat. Dinosaurs that don't eat meat need protection from those that do. Our spikes are long and sharp. If meat eaters come too close, we take them on head first. This says Styracosaurus. Dinos and rhinos. Styracosaurus had a long horn on its nose. It used the horn for protection, like the rhinoceros does today. Sharp teeth can't dent my body armor. And watch out for the spikes on my shoulders. One bump from me and it's the end. And this is a Edmontonia. Edmontonia. My skin is hard as a rock. My body is covered in studs and spikes and horns. I swing the club on the end of my tail. It can break the legs of bigger dinosaurs. I am not very big, but I am dangerous. 
And this says Euoplocephalus. Euoplocephalus. Bone breaking bones. A tail club could grow as wide as an armchair. It was a powerful weapon against meat eaters. We are so small but fast. We eat plants that grow close to the ground. We live in a herd. If one of us spots a meat eater, we all zoom off on our strong back legs. And these are Hypsilophodon. Hypsilophodon. We don't need special weapons. If we smell danger, we raise the alarm. We use our head crests like trumpets to make loud hooting sounds. So these guys are Corythosaurus. Corythosaurus. Fancy heads. Other dinosaurs had crests on their heads too. Often the males had bigger crests than the females. And this is Parasaurolophus. <clears throat> I look frightened because I'm so big. Oh, not frightened. Frightening. Yes, I look frightening because I am so big. I need to eat huge amounts of leaves to keep myself going. I use my long neck to reach the leaves at the top of trees. This is a Barasaurus. I can see danger coming from any direction. I am much taller than any of the meat eaters. We are all dinosaurs that eat plants. We all have some way of protecting ourselves from meat eaters. Oops. Plants that love plant lovers. Animals that eat nothing but plants are called, you know, herbivores. Most of the dinosaurs were herbivores. We are all dinosaurs. What do we eat for dinner? Oh my. I would have to guess because I'm not going to look back. But you guys, if you want to rewind, you can. But I think this is meat. I think this is meat. And I think one, two, three is plant. And my clock is bonging noon, so it's lunchtime. So I'm going to eat. <laughs> the end. Thank you for joining me for Miss PM Reads. Remember to subscribe to the channel so you'll get an update when a new story posts. Bye.